Here we have a USB flash drive that came in for repair, data recovery, and we can tell the USB socket is broken off the board. Let's take a look at the board and see what's going on. Right here. The socket is broken off the board. Great. We can solder the socket back and get the files, right? Right. But the problem is, one problem I see right now is we have missing D minus and D plus pads, and I do not know where those pads are going. We have ground, no problem. We have five volts, no problem. But where does this pad lead to? What about this one here? Where does it lead to? I do not see a trace that we can restore. Right now, I have a socket with four wires. We're going to solder one wire here. We're going to solder one wire here. But the two other wires, where are we going to solder them? And the problem is we have a white painted board here. The wire may be going from the back or from the side here. But I'm not able to tell because of the white mask here. Maybe we can grind the white of the board and see what's under. I actually see a wire going in like this. If you look here, there's some discoloration from under here. So maybe this one is connecting from right here. And maybe this one is going right here. Yeah, maybe those are the two lines for D minus and D plus, right here, one, two, one, two. I do not know which is which. Actually, if we go like this. So this one here. Yeah, it's hard to tell. We can do this by trial and error. We can solder the wires directly here and here, pin 4 and pin 5. If the drive does not work, swap the wires, D minus, D plus, D plus, D minus, and see if the drive will work. Should we grind for the sake of this video? Here, let's do it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I want to see if I can grind the white off, if possible. Yeah, right there, I see the wire, see? I see the wire. The magic of the grinding pen. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. All right, let's clean up and see what's going on. Right there, now we can see them. It looks like this pad is going to pin number four, and this pad is going to pin number five. Fifty percent of the job is done. The other fifty percent is soldering the connector and we should be on our way to recovering data from this drive. Now the customer mailed over the socket, but can we use it? We're not gonna use the customer's socket. Let's grab one from our donor box here. I got a USB socket that we can use. And let's do it. So I have a socket here with four wires.
Now, I do not have the board placed in the board holder, but we're only dealing with four wires. We can trim the access just like that. Now we said that this pad will go on pin number four. Maybe we can solder the ground pad first. Maybe we need to add more solder. And we also need our anti-glare light. Now this wire will go on pin number five. And the other one on pin number four. And we have to make sure those wires are not touching each other. One, two, three, four. Five. Let's rotate the board. And just like that. Make sure the wire is not shortened out with anything. And we're going to do the last wire. And we're all good. All we have to do is trim whatever is left of that wire so it does not short out with anything on the board, just like that. And let's make sure those wires are not touching. I'm using enameled wire, so even if those wires touch, it's not going to matter, but still. And that's where you would use enameled wire. If you think wires are going to overlap and you do not want the wires to touch, just use enameled. You can buy both enameled and non-enameled wires off our site. They're pretty cheap. Just log into northwishfix.com, click on shop, add them to cart, as well as a lot of other tools that we carry and sell. We have everything in stock, soldering station, hot air station, power supply, thermal camera, Voltage injection tool, genuine Amtec flux, braid wig, tweezers, everything. Fume extractor off. You can also buy the fume extractor off our site. It's called NF.fume, Northridge Fix Fume. Three filtration system. Just an awesome fume extractor. So we're going to plug, wait a minute, I'm using the wrong, I'm using the wrong one. All right, let's see. I did hear the tone. And are we going to see anything? Yes, yes, yes. My antivirus program just displayed that the drive is plugged in. And if we go to my PC, awesome, right there, the blue one. If I disconnect, the drive is out. Let me go back to Windows and I'm going to reconnect. Right there. Awesome. Double click on the drive. Make sure we can read the files. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Awesome. So I'm going to start the backup process. We're going to transfer the files over to another flash drive, invoice, and mail this back to the customer. So that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.